is up you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today. This video will contain spoilers for the most recent episode of Moon Knight, so if you're worried about spoilers, be sure to click away and come back to this after you've seen the episode. Man, the second episode of Moon Knight was fantastic. I am loving this series so far, and it's given us a great opportunity to build some minifigures from the show, so let's get into that. I'll be showing you how to build everybody you see here, which are new characters for the second episode of Moon Knight using 100% official LEGO parts and pieces. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of my other LEGO videos and customs. And without further ado, let's start breaking down how to build what you see here. The first character we meet is Layla, and she's a really cool character. I'm excited to see where they go with her. I used some black legs here on the torso from Ron from the LEGO Harry Potter collectible minifigure series 2. The head and hands are paired up from MJ from LEGO Spider-Man Far From Home or No Way Home. I think that that's pretty good. And the hair comes from Mirabelle from LEGO Encanto. I really like the way this looks and I'm excited to get on with the showcase. I absolutely love the way Khonshu turned out. This custom is just phenomenal, if I do say so myself. Now, the arms and legs come from White Vision from the LEGO Marvel Collectible Minifigure Series. The torso comes from the Mummy from LEGO Scooby-Doo. He's got a gray cape, which has come in many places, probably most commonly from Gandalf from, from LEGO Dimensions. Then for his neck slash headpiece, I used a clear one by one piece with a one by one stud on top. That way the head hovers the way you see it in the show. And you can see that the uh, helmet piece is actually one of the Raven bird masks from Lego Legends of Chima, but you can see some purple peeking out. What I did was I actually painted this with a paint pen of all things. And I was kind of an idiot because I didn't realize that there's actually existing pieces from Chima in white that I could have just bought one of those, but this is the piece I had, so I just colored it with a white paint pen. So it's just good to show you guys options, but I do think that looks really good. Then, of course, finally, we've got his staff, which is just a black pole with a black one by one, a black one by one clip. And then I used one of those circle accessory pieces commonly found in the Black Panther sets, and I used a pair of wire cutters like this to go ahead and clip the top part off to give kind of that crescent moon look to it, and I really, really like the way this turned out. Now, in the part one showcase, I mentioned that there was the Anubis Jackal-style dog that chased him, and I wanted to get that right for this series going forward. I actually found out that thanks to the LEGO Pharaoh's Quest theme, there's an actual Anubis minifigure, which of course is what we're looking at here. And while it's not perfect for the Jackal dog, it's pretty close. So if you guys have a better recommendation, drop a comment down below and let me know. But this is a cool figure to have regardless. I think it looks really good and uh, who knows, maybe Anubis will actually even show up in this show at some point. Also in part one, I showed you how to build Moon Knight, but over the last week I ordered a minifigure that really helps bring the character together, and that is the CMF Mummy. Now those mummy wrapped arms just help Moon Knight look that much better, and I hope you guys like that little upgrade. This episode also introduces us to Mr. Knight, which is really, really cool. Now, I did have to break the purest roll for the torso here, and here's what I did. I actually used the CMF torso from the Joker from the LEGO DC CMF, and I took a little bit of nail polish remover and very carefully used that to get the purple out of the suit. Now, unfortunately, it did take off a little bit of the printing from the white part of the suit, so I just used a black Sharpie to fill that back in, and I do think it turned out pretty darn good if I do say so myself. So the legs and torso and hands and all that come from the CMF Joker as mentioned with a little modification to get the purple out of the suit and the head comes from the clone pilot from Lego Star Wars. I love the way this turned out and I hope you guys agree. With that being said, let's zoom out so I can give you my final thoughts on this showcase. All right guys, well thanks for hanging out with me today. Be sure to hit like and subscribe for more Lego videos. If this is your first time here on the channel, it's been awesome to hang out and I hope it's the first of many. See you guys on the next video and until next time build on well you've made it to the end of the video you should hit like and subscribe down below for more lego content for me because i post just about every single day you'll be up to date on all the latest in lego so why not join my community and hit subscribe now